Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to have an introduction to sequential circuits. This is our fifth section of digital logic design and it is the last section of digital logic design. In our first section, so, so far we have covered four sections. In the first section, we had uh, we have discussed about number system. In the second system, we have discussed about logic gates and Boolean algebra. In the third section, we have discussed about minimization. And in the previous section, which is fourth section, we have discussed about combinational circuits. And every video in our channel is going to be a part of entire course or a playlist. Our suggestion is to follow the entire playlist so that you can have better understanding of the concepts. And the link for the playlist is provided in the description below. So in the previous section, we have discussed about combinational circuits. We have discussed lots of uh, different types of combinational circuits. So there one common point that we have observed in every combinational circuit is uh, the output that we are going to obtain in a combinational circuit is totally depend upon, dependent upon the present uh, input so what does that mean is for example if you take a decoder for example if you take a decoder 3 by 8 decoder so this is a combinational circuit this uh, uh, this uh, decoder we have discussed in our previous class previous section so this decoder is a 3 by 8 decoder and uh, how the output of this decoder will be so what is the present output how the output of the decoder will be is the present output of the decoder is dependent upon the present input so what does it mean is for example if the input is 101 so so this one will get activated so that is the principle of decoder so the output of the decoder is the present output of the decoder is totally dependent upon the present input if the input changes so if the input has been changed so this one will get activated so this one will become zero all the remaining will become zeros and this one is going to be the activated in the sense that is going to generate so this uh, uh, output is going to generate an output of one and all the remaining are going to generate an output of zeros if you change the input for example if you change the input to zero zero one 0, 0, 001 means this one will get activated and all the remaining will be zeros this is how the combinational circuit will work how the combinational circuits will work you take any combinational circuit the present output of the combinational circuit is totally dependent upon the present input so that is how a combinational circuits will work so now coming to the understanding of sequential circuit. So what is a sequential circuit? In sequential circuit, the present output depends on the present input and past output. So what is sequential circuit is? The this is the block diagram of a sequential circuit. So this is the block diagram of a sequential circuit. What is a sequential circuit is the present output that the output that we are going to obtain at this point of time. This output is dependent upon the present input and it also depends upon and it also depends upon the past output. So what does that mean? That's, that point is very important to understand what is past output past output means in the previous calculation in the previous uh, in the previous calculation for example some value has been obtained that value is used for the present calculation so that value in the previous the previous value that has been obtained in the previous calculation is used for the is used for the calculation to get the present output so in order to get this output the sequential circuit is dependent upon the present input and also past output so the best way to understand this is for example if you want to add 1 2 3 4 5 so if you want to add all this so the final output that we are going to obtain should be the sum of 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5. How that can be done is in order to do this calculation, in order to do this calculation, 
the sequential uh, this calculation can be done on a sequential circuit how it can be done is for example if this is the uh, this is the uh, sequential circuit and we are we haven't done anything so initially all the values are zeros so the present input is zero and the output is also zero and the values that are stored on the memory is also zeros okay and uh, the values that uh, uh, we are going to transfer it to the uh, input for the next uh, uh, calculation is also zero so everything is zero now i want to add one to this circuit so what happens is uh, if we are going to give this is what we call it as present input the present input zero zero one so in order to get the output in order to get the present output what what is that that is done on this circuit is it is going to take the values from the past output so what is the value that is stored in the past output past output is 0 0 0 so this 0 0 0 will get added so this is a adder circuit this is a adder combinational circuit three input adder circuit so this value 0 0 0 is added to 0 0 1 so what it is going to produce it is going to produce 0 0 1 so what happens in the memory so the past so this is going to be the uh, this is going to obtain onto the memory so on the memory it becomes a 0 0 1 okay this is past output okay the that the, the present output that we have obtained will get stored on the memory in order to do the next number in order to add next number so it is 1 0 if you try to add 0 1 0 what this sequential will uh, circuit will do is so this value will come here so now what happens is 0 1 0 will get added to 0 0 1 so this is past input in order to generate the present output in order to generate the present output it it is going to it it is dependent upon the present input the present input is 0 1 0 and it is dependent upon the past output what is the past output 0 0 1 and this present output that we are going to obtain will get stored onto this memory so this is how a sequential circuit will work every computer in computer lots of lots of sequential circuits are used and the understanding of the concept of uh, uh, sequential circuit is uh, very very important okay so now uh, uh, what is our present output what is the output that we are going to obtain so this output is uh, dependent upon the past output the past output is 001 so we are going to add 010 and 0, 0, 001 so what is the output that we are going to obtain it is 0, 011 1, 1. so on the memory it will get stored with 0, 0, 0, 1, 1. see here 0 plus 1 has been made and now 2 has been added to this 1 2 has been added 1 plus 2 is 3 what is this binary equivalent what is the decimal equivalent of this binary number 0, 1, 1 means it is the decimal equivalent is 3 okay now this 3 has to be added this 3 has to be so far we have done 1 plus 2 next we have to add 3 so this 3 has to, the present input so in order to get the present output it will get dependent upon so this is also 3 it is 3 plus 3 3 plus 3 6 will get generated as the output okay the 6 means it is 1 1 0 similarly here it is 1 1 0 okay so this 110 will be obtained for the next calculation and now the next number is 4 which is 100 okay now in order to get the output in order to get the output here we have to add these two okay so this is how this is how the sequential circuits will work okay so uh, the the first important point that we have to understand in the sequential in construct before constructing the sequential circuits is how the things will get stored so every bit will get stored uh, in the memory right so these values we are getting stored on a device so how each and every bit is getting stored onto the memory so that device is what we call it as a latch or a flip-flop the understanding of latch and flip-flop we will try to understand in the 
next coming classes with the understanding of memory unit after understanding memory unit it becomes very easy for us to understand sequential circuits hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding these concepts please post your doubts in the comment section below thanks for watching